Hi, this is Daniel Freshly from Radiant Solar. In today's video, I wanted to do a quick overview and tutorial video on how to navigate the Enphase My Enlighten web and mobile monitoring platform. Uh, it's a really cool, helpful tool to have to be able to keep track of the performance of your solar system, make sure things are working correctly, make sure each panel is working correctly. So what I wanna go ahead and do is just jump in here. I've got my computer screen recording and I'm gonna walk through and do a tutorial on exactly what you're looking at. So first things first, when you open up the online web dashboard, you're gonna get brought to this initial screen here. Right away on the right hand side, you've got specs about your system, what it's done today, what it's done over the previous seven days, this month to date, so on and so forth. Uh, if we go ahead and just zoom in here a little bit, we can see each and every individual solar panel's performance. And we like looking at this to make sure that there's not big discrepancies from one panel to another, something that might trigger a warranty claim or a replacement or something that needs to be done. So you can go in here and take a look at each and every individual panel. You can go up to the upper left right here and change your date parameters as well. So maybe you wanna look at the previous seven days, maybe you wanna look at the month to date. So you can shift all of that here very easily. Uh, one of the things I also like to do on the web dashboard here is go into the reports. This is typically the most common thing that I'll do when I'm on the web version. Otherwise, I generally just use the mobile version personally. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go to select report. We can go to site energy production report. This is the most common report that I'll pull if I wanna look at how much solar power I produced during a particular billing period. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll cross-reference the utility bill that I've received, whatever the date, you know, the start and the finish of that bill was. Let's say, for example, it was on uh, December the 15th to January the 15th. I'd go in here and then I'd click submit and it's gonna run a report here for me. So I've got my site energy production report. Uh, one of the things I can do if I just scroll down, I can see, okay, over this period of time, I produced 1,148 kilowatt hours. I can see you know, each and every day what that production was. So this is a good helpful way for me to use this information and then cross-reference it against what maybe my utility company had you know, delivered to them or what they refer to as received, what they received from me versus what they delivered to me. And I can get a little bit overview, a little bit better uh, review of the data to understand this a bit more. Really, the other way that I use this most frequently though is in the mobile level. Layout. So what I'll do here is I'm actually going to go ahead and shrink down my browser uh, so that it can kind of mirror what the iPhone or an Android application would be. Now, obviously, this is the Enphase Enlighten app that you'd have in either like the Google Play Store or the Android Store or the App Store from uh, Apple. Uh, but then once you open it up here, you've got some basic information just showing you kind of at a quick glance what's going on, shows you some nifty information about how much energy you have produced and what that correlates to in terms of 100 watt you know, light bulbs or trees or refrigerator consumption or usage, etc. cetera. Um, what I really like to do here, though, is look into the energy section. So I can see, you know, today how much energy I've produced so far. I can see the day before, you know, so the 26th of January, how much I produced. Then I can also see how much I produced in this exact same day, but from a year prior right here. So you can see, obviously, a year ago today was phenomenal energy production for this system. We can also toggle these things on and look at this on a graph view. So I can toggle this on down below, look at these things side by side, see how they produced. We can also see a currency equivalent. So what we've done here is we've programmed what the you know typical cost per kilowatt hour is into the system. And so this gives us the ability to understand, okay, 36 kilowatt hours produced based on our cost per kilowatt hour today shows $4.70 worth of savings. So contact your sales rep or your solar company if you need more information on what your current cost per kilowatt hour is. That way you can have some accurate information here. Uh, what we can also do though is we can look at this over the course of a week. We can go back and look at last week. We can compare the week before. Of course, we can look at this over a monthly period. So let's see, okay, here's where we're at in January so far. How was December of 2022? See the comparisons there. Of course, yearly, lifetime, custom date ranges, just like you can do on the desktop as well. Uh, but I think probably one of the most ha helpful and handy features is gonna be the array. Again, just wanting to be able to zoom in, look at this quick on the go, right on your phone, and see what your energy production is. So we can go in here 
and we can look at each and every solar panel just like we did on the desktop version. We can look at this over the course of a month and we can look at this over a course of a year. Now, granted, because of the time of this recording, we're in January of 2023. So really the year data is only for this month. Let's go back to last year though. This will actually show us an entire year so we can see okay this panel in the upper right corner produced 445 kilowatt hours 447 448 449 right so we just want to make sure there's no significant discrepancies or anything in this data as well so all in all uh real quick tutorial and overview there just wanted to make sure you had a better understanding as to how everything works of course, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Send us an email at info at goradiantsolar.com or reach out to our team. We're, of course, happy to help in any way that we can. Uh, as always, this has been Daniel Freshly from Radiant Solar, encouraging you to live radiantly. Thanks so much, and we'll see you again soon.